is our R and D department. This is our lead laboratory technician, Brian Merriweather. Brian, this is Dan Holloway. Hello, Dan. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Nice to meet you. He's our new corporate streamliner. Corporate streamliner. <laughs> Hey! Hey! It's a Brian, right? Yeah, Dan, hi! So can I sit down? Good! Yeah, good. I'm sorry, are you waiting for somebody? No, I mean, I was, but not really anymore. Oh, okay. All right. Mind if I were Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Get the, the stones. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell my girl that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anything at work that I should know about? No, oh, everyone's real nice. They're really good people. You know, if there is something going on, you can tell me. Yeah, I, I know what you're trying to dig out. I got your number. Mm. Mr. Big Shot, Streamline coming in. You're gonna, you're gonna be firing people, aren't you? You could say that. Hey, Dan. Hey, Brian. Mind if I ride down with you? Did you hear about Alex? No, which one is Alex? The guy's such a bully, I actually went out and bought a can of mace, just in case. You get uh, canned or something? No, he took a face plant into the urinal. <laughs> they had to take him to the emergency room. They think he was drinking on the job or something. I don't know. Who passes out while they're peeing? Sometimes people make bad decisions. I'm so stoked for this picnic, man. I get to meet Lisa. Hi, Dan. Hi. Lisa, this is Brian. Brian, this is Lisa. You two get acquainted. I'm going to go get the picnic basket out of the car. So, Brian, hmm. I don't mean to be forward. But how well do you know Dan? We've known each other for about five months, so I don't know, we just really hit it off. What does he do? He's a corporate streamliner. So, honestly, I have no idea. Me neither. Hi, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll catch you at the rest of the conference. Um, make sure you don't run up a huge bill on room service, okay? Hello? My dad died today. He was a gambler. Listen, I just got off the phone with my aunt. She said that all of his debts he levied against my mother's house. I just want to clear my head. I'm just going to get some air. Okay. Yeah, nobody sober is that. Hold on, Ted. I got someone on the other line. Just a second. Hello. Dan. What's up, man? She's gone, man. She left me. I... I told her that she couldn't know. Hey, there's my baby girl. How you doing? Good, I'm at work. No, you're at work. I'm working too. Got something for your boss. Tell your boss, Brian, to be at the fountain at 8 o'clock. Get your rocks on! You brought this on yourself, Brian. You knew the consequences. For crying out loud, I kill people for a living. Especially people who steal secrets from billion dollar corporations. You don't have to do this, you know. You can walk away! You just don't get it. Do you, Brian? I can't! 
They'll just send someone else, and not only will you sign your own death warrant, but mine as well. Why did you do it? It was about the debt. It was always about the debt. I could have helped you. We, we could have worked something out. You're going to do it, aren't you? You're going to kill me. What other choice do I have? I can't let you do that. I can't let you kill me. You did this to yourself, Brian. All the loose ends need to be tied up. You think I'm stupid? Do you think I wouldn't be prepared? Always be prepared. Boy Scout motto. Mine's bigger. Hitman's motto. <laughs> This is how it's gonna go down, huh? You can't just kill a man and get away with it, you know. You apparently do it all the time. That's because I'm good at my job. Oh. So that's how it is, huh? I guess so. Well, goodbye, Dan. Goodbye, Brian. Panelled wreck room. 